utensils and their capacity. Mummy, looks like it's going to rain today. At school, ma'am had explained that we should always try to collect rainwater. Mishtu, your ma'am is right. If we store rainwater, we will not face water scarcity for the entire year. Mishtu, but can you tell me how will you collect rainwater? Hmm, whenever it rains, water collected on the roof of our house comes down through the pipes. I will collect that water with the help of this glass to fill our water tank. Mishtu dear, but in that case you will need a vessel which has more capacity than this glass. Mummy, please explain what is this capacity. See Mishtu, the capacity of any vessel is exactly how much of anything we can fill it with. Uh, how is that? Come on, let me explain it to you. See, I will pour water in this jug. In this glass. And in this mug. The amount of water that can fill each of these vessels respectively is called its capacity. So, is this the way to know the capacity of any vessel? Yes, Mishtu. So, come on. Let us know more about the capacity of vessels. And we will understand how different vessels have different capacities. So, which vessels and their capacities are we going to find today, Mishtu? Today, we will find the capacity of this glass, mug, jug and this bucket. Mummy, what are these two buckets of water for? Mishtu, we will use this water to find the capacity of all these vessels. How is that possible? First of all, I will fill this glass completely with water. Now, the amount of water in this glass is its capacity. Yes, I understood. Now, with the help of this glass, I will fill this mug. One glass and one more, that is two glasses. Mishtu, we can fill this mug with two glasses of water. This shows that the capacity of this mug is equal to two glasses of water. Now with the help of the same glass, we will fill this jug with water. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The jug is completely filled. Yes. So the capacity of this jug is equal to six glasses of water. Mummy, can we fill the jug with the mug of water? Yes. See. One. Two. And three mugs. So, the capacity of this jug is equal to three mugs of water. Mummy, now to fill this bucket, how many glasses of water would be required? Come on, let's pour and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30 to fill this bucket completely we have to pour 30 glasses of water in it so the capacity of this bucket is equal to 30 glasses of water so come on let's fill the bucket using a mug 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen mugs of water filled up the whole bucket completely. The capacity of this bucket is equal to fifteen mugs of water. Come on, let's try filling this bucket with this jug. One, two, three, four, five, The whole bucket got filled with just five jugs of water. This means the capacity of this bucket is equal to five jugs of water. Great, Mishtu. Now tell me which of these vessels has the greatest capacity? The bucket has the most capacity. And which vessel has the least capacity? Here, the smallest vessel is the glass. So the glass has the least capacity. Well done, Mishtu. Come on, let me show you something. What? Look, this jug is half filled with water, and the mug is completely filled. So which of these two have more water? This mug has more water because this is completely filled. No, Mishtu. This jug has more water. How? First of all, tell me what is the capacity of this jug? I mean, how many glasses of water can fill this jug? The capacity of this jug is equal to six glasses. So this jug has filled with water is equal to how many glasses of water? Hmm, it is equal to three glasses. Now tell me. What is the capacity of this mug? That means how many glasses of water can fill this mug? The capacity of this mug is equal to two glasses. So tell me now, which has more water, a half-filled jug or a mug which is fully filled? This half-filled jug has three glasses of water. And fully filled mug has two glasses. So here the jug has more water than mug. Well done, Mishtu. Hey, Mummy, look, it has started raining. Mishtu, just tell me which vessel should we use to collect rainwater? We should collect it in this bucket because the bucket has the highest capacity. And with the help of this bucket, it will be possible to fill the tank much faster. <laughs> well said. Yes, so children, today along with Mishtu we understood the capacity of vessels and we also understood that different vessels have different capacity. In the next video, we will understand why the vessels fills up on putting objects in half filled containers